Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll show you how to automatically move emails sent by a specific sender to any folder of your choice in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and in my Gmail account. It's quick and easy to find an email from someone using filters in Gmail and move that to a folder automatically. We can do this in two steps. Firstly, we need to specify the email sender we want to move to a folder, and then we need to choose the folder we want to move the emails to. Gmail has a powerful search feature hidden behind the search bar. This can be more straightforward to use if you already have an email from that person, but even if you only know their name, you still should be able to find them. Let's look first at when you can find at least one email from that person, and how to find their other emails using that email. I'll move my mouse to an email I want to search on in my inbox. If I click my right mouse button, a list of options appears. And if I scroll to near the bottom of that list, you'll see there's an option to find emails from that sender. Let's click on that option, and you'll see that Gmail then returns every email I've ever received from this sender. This includes emails from the inbox and any emails which have been moved to different labels or folders in Gmail. Any archived emails are also shown in this view. If I now tap into the search options filter in the search bar, you'll see that the email address we have found is pre-populated in the from row of the search filter. Now, if you don't have an email from that person, it can be a little trickier to find them, but let's look at how to do that now. I'll return to my inbox, and I'll open up a blank details search filter by clicking on the search options icon on the right of the search bar. I'm going to focus on the from row again. Let's click into that, and I'll type the name of the person whose email I want to find. When I start typing, Gmail suggests the names of some of the contacts I already have on my Google account. If any of these are the person you're looking for, then just use your mouse to choose the name of that person. I now want to create a filter using that email address. And to do that, I just need to click on the Create Filter button. If I tap back into the inbox, you can see that all the emails from that sender have been found and are listed. I now need to click back into the Search Options filter to finish the second part of the filter to allow us to move emails to a folder. Gmail uses labels rather than folders to group emails, so I want to create a new label to move the emails to. To do that, I'll click on the checkbox next to apply the label, and then I'll click on the drop down arrow to pick the label I want to move the emails to. I can choose any existing label, but in this case, I'll create a new label. I can do that by tapping on the new label option. A box then pops up and we can enter the name of the new label here. To confirm that, I'll click on the Create button. The new label is then added to that row. Before confirming that filter, you may also want to consider choosing the option on the bottom of this page to apply the filter to matching conversations. This will remove all emails from the sender you've identified that are already in your inbox and put them in the folder that you've created. I'll select that option and we can set this filter live by choosing the large blue Create Filter button. If I now click into the folder that we've created, you'll see that any emails that we receive in the future are automatically moved into this folder. I hope you found this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks so much for watching.